<sighs> Daniel, what are we doing out here? Yeah, what the heck? What are we doing in Antarctica? Hi guys, today we're going to be playing Can You Survive the Antarctica? <sighs> why does every place you bring us to really suck? Like, why can't we go to Disneyland one time? Hey, Dan Plan, can you survive going to Disneyland and having fun? No, here's Saw in The Purge. So, what are we doing here anyways? So in 1915, there was a group of voyagers that went into Antarctica and got stuck. But with their quick thinking and unceasing effort, they managed to survive. Let's see if you guys can do the same. Okay. What if I can survive better? I, maybe I'm just going to evolve into a penguin and just like live up there forever. <laughs> How dare you, Daniel? How dare you stand in the way of my evolution? <laughs> So while you set out to go embark on a journey in Antarctica, there's an essential item that you absolutely need. Is it A, sunglasses, B, lotion, C, vitamin C, or D, flowers? Well, are these penguins cute penguins? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I mean, like, lotion's also pretty good if you're trying to do it with penguins. Wait, what do you mean? What? He means sex, you... Elsa. Huh? Bestiality. Oh, well, that's my running joke right now. Uh, okay. Jose, come on. Uh, uh, Keep it up. Uh, yo, uh, how, was I supposed to, how was I supposed to tell if he was making a sex joke or not? What? I caught it up right away. <laughs> you know what? When's the last time I ate an orange? I don't know. Okay, fine. Then I'll take vitamin C. I think it's sunglasses. Well, I'm already cool enough, so I don't need sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is sunglasses. Yeah. Suck a dick. Daniel, you're wrong. Um, Steven looks at the teacher with the exam results. No, you're wrong! <laughs> Slaps across the face. <laughs> so you need sunglasses because of snow blindness. Basically what happens is when the sun reflects off the snow, it constantly hits your eyes and you're more likely to lose vision and perhaps go blind. Yeah, I thought eight months out there with all that whiteness, sun reflecting off the snow, that'll be quite enough to blind them after a month or so living there. Yeah, I guess, but I hope the scurvy kills you first, Hosa. So let's say you've been stuck there for a while now, and the ice in which the ship was stuck on starts to creep into the ship. The captain says, Abandon ship! Now, would you say A, okay, let's get the fudge out of here, B, no, we gotta gear up, or C, no, if we leave the ship, we're dead. I agree with that last one. If we leave the ship, we're kind of dead. If anything, it'll just freeze you in place. It's not, you're not going anywhere, yeah. straight up. Okay, yeah, so for me, I think you should definitely stick with the ship, because that's, that's gonna block a lot of wind. And that itself, I think, provides a lot to your party, so yes stick with the ship. So, both of you guys are actually wrong in this case. Really? Shut up, Daniel, you're wrong. So what the crew did is they actually left the ship. And only a day after they left, half the ship completely submerged into the ice. But there's no hope if they just randomly ran in a certain direction. I mean, where'd they even go after that? All right, so you guys venture out in this freezing tundra, snow blizzards coming in, every step is a torture. As the captain, you know times are getting desperate. You know food is becoming short. Eat Hosa. You start pr <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Get away well, from me. Well, you're the only one with me right now. The There's 15 other people probably don't taste as good. And they'll fight back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight back too. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm ruining your show. But I want to live. <laughs> I know, I know. We gotta have like a Hosa versus Steven battle coming soon. <laughs> so basically what's happening is you are the captain and everybody's been trusting you until this point. But you yourself know that things are getting really, really desperate. So what do you do? A. Do you tell your crew how dire the situation is? Or B. Do you continue to keep it to yourself? Hmm. I think it's best for you to tell your crew members this is the situation and we need to do something about it. I don't know, man. Hosa, if you were the captain, you would die from the internal struggle. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like... As long as you're really good at lying to people, I guess you could just keep it a secret. You could also just murder people if like they even get close to figuring it out. Well, hey captain, uh, I, I haven't seen, haven't seen Hosa for a little bit. Where's he gone? Oh, nowhere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, just eat that stew. Don't worry about it. Wow, this is really tasty, captain. Captain, there's hair in this. <laughs> Nah, no, nah, but uh, honestly, I would probably tell them. Because you know what? I don't like keeping secrets. You have to keep lying to keep up your lie. 
<laughs> you guys are terrible at this. <laughs> what are, okay, what's the answer, Daniel? What is the answer? So the captain decided to not tell anybody that he was desperate, because he knew that the crew was desperate as well, and the only hope they had was the captain, and if the captain lost hope, then they would lose hope too. Hmm. Okay. What a bunch of dumb idiots. No, but I think that does... No wonder they got stranded up in the Ar <laughs> Antarctic. <laughs> does have a point, though. Because <laughs> if the captain starts panicking and telling people, Hey, this is the situation and I have no control over it. That will be detrimental to the party. But if someone realizes this and is like, Hey, captain, when are we getting rescued? And the captain just literally just ignores him. Wow, the captain doesn't know what we're doing. Let's mutiny. <laughs> mutiny. Anyway, you venture out and you find land. It's a miracle. One of the men says that he recognizes the land and he knows where to get help. He also says that it'd be best if we went alone with two other people because it'd be the fastest and then without a moment's hesitation, he leaves. Now there is this frustrating glimmer of hope. You are forced to wait in one spot as long as you possibly can. That glimmer of hope can make men do crazy things and staying in this one spot is seemingly one of them. What would you do? So wait, he just left? Okay, then I shall wait there. How long I mean, would you wait until you decide they're not coming? I'd say one week passed. Mm, how how well do I know these two these people that you just spent left? Over eight months with them. Yeah, I'll wait for another couple. I'll wait for another week, cause you know. Another week passed. No oh, okay. signs. What if they died? Well, what then if they we're died probably gonna there? die too. We're probably gonna die too then if we go. Mm. Another week passes. So I feel like the moral of the story is get up your butt and actually do something. So you just leave, I guess? Mm. Yeah. I mean, what if they come back and they say, oh, they are supposed to be here. Where did they all go? Mm. Another week passes. What? It's been four weeks? <laughs> what? It's been four weeks? Okay. What are you going to do, Steven? I think they literally just forgot about us. Really? LLZ, let's go. Actually, wait a sec. I think I'm I'll gonna wait, wait here. I'm, I'm gonna wait too. The answer always seems to be what Daniel suggests first. <laughs> so you, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> so a full month has been filled, and from a really far away distance, you see this small boat. But as it gets closer, it gets bigger, and it gets bigger. And the three crew that you entrusted your life with comes and gets closer, waving their hands, and you all manage to get rescued. And you so, guys did a good job! You survived! I mean, you didn't give us much of a choice. I, I know, like, what the heck? <laughs> you guys could okay. have said you wanted to le leave. So the moral of the story is, trust your friends. <laughs> I, I guess so. So I guess the moral of this episode is, never trust your friends because they're gonna leave you stranded in Antarctica. Good night, everybody! Bye! Steven out! <laughs> is that how we're ending it? I Bye. don't know. <laughs>